What's up? Monday morning, 4.30. It's 27 degrees out here. It's cold. Uh, ground's frozen. I don't know what I've got to say. Um, stay the course. It ebbs and flows. Fucking stay the course. You don't just fucking stop because some shit happened you don't like. You fucking buckle down and go harder, right? You spent four years... Um, I think things were probably pretty good for everybody for the last four years. Um, and then the year, the last year, everybody talks about how bad it was. I know it was bad for some people. Things were definitely different. Um, they weren't that different here because we left the cities, which is what we've been saying for fucking 15 years now. Leave the cities. Get out of the fucking big towns. Move further out where you don't have people tattletailing on you because that was the majority of it right it was people telling on you you can't open your business and you can't work well where where was that a problem at it was in the big cities where people were telling on you not all of it but for the most part get away from the loyalists you know you keep putting these roots down and you you got all these roots and shit but how deep are your roots really in those cities well, I've been here, you know, we're here, that's where my business is, you know, uh, whatever. It's just, that's just fear, fear of having to put forth harder work, uh, new work. Sometimes that's better because in those cities, those roots don't run deep. They run fucking wide. And when a little bit of wind comes, your roots are not deep. There's no tap root there. The wind comes and it just literally blows you over. That's it. It's that fear of starting over. When you start over with something new, you don't have all the decay and all the rot and all the dead roots sitting there. You get to start new. Your money goes further as you go further out, or it did. I don't know about now. I've told you guys for the last year, get out of there while you can before everybody realizes that they want to. Your big, big money has left the cities. Your big, big money pulled up and moved to other states. There's a reason why, if they're doing it, you think their roots didn't run deeper? But if they're doing it, you should look to that. Everybody wanted to buy, you know, all these different fucking cryptos and shit. By the time you got around to buying them, was it too late? No, not too late, but imagine if you'd have bought them two weeks earlier. Imagine if, as soon as Bitcoin hit down, if because most of you don't have it. <clears throat> imagine if as soon as Bitcoin hit down, you got into it. It goes down, it goes up, it goes down. It's like one step forward, two steps back. But with a lot of that crypto, it's one step back, five steps forward. Everybody buying silver right now. Silver's at $27, $28 an ounce. It goes down, comes back up, goes down, comes back up. Right? But if you go to buy a one ounce eagle right now, you're going to pay $40 for it. Almost always. 40 bucks right now when it's valued at 27 and some change. 28 because everybody's buying it, there's a demand. The price of silver came back down, but the price went back up. Not back up, it went up even more. It's the, the fear of missing out. But just because it dropped, if you were gonna sell and convert and get a couple bucks out of it, you didn't buy it to make money on it. Otherwise you'd have had you know, $100,000 of it to make that $2 on each ounce to you know, convert out. You don't just stop because it got bad. Everybody's talking about all these bans that are coming into effect. Are you out burying your shit? Or are you buying more of it? Are you buying more of it because they told you you can't have it? We've seen this happen before. It seems more real this time. But you've seen it happen before. The best gun salesman in the world was Obama. Next to Joe Biden, probably. The problem is... They can't build them fast enough right now. They, you hear all this talk about ammunition and you can't get ammunition. They didn't stop making that shit. They're setting up. I know guys that own ammunition companies right now that are making more ammunition than ever. They're buying equipment to make more ammunition. It's there. It's the fear of it. New buyers. Our sales are fucking through the roof too. Because every time that happens, as soon as the guys... The new guys get that, that new firearm and they get a little bit of ammo enough that they feel that that is safe. Or when they go to buy ammo and they can't get it, they start buying slings and rigs for that gun and other things, right? Buy some seeds. 
by some plants start sprouting some stuff there is so much stuff you can do even if you're in a little city or you know in a little apartment or something there's always something you can do you have to stay the course you have to stay the course you have to continue to move forward and make things better for you but I'm planning on you know moving I'm just saving my money that's fine you can still put some shit in a in a potted plant are you moving in a week are you moving in a month I might move next year what timeline is that? Grow something from a seed to something you can put in your mouth. It will change things about you. It makes you more self-reliant. There's a ton of shit you can do, but everybody's so busy on the internet all the time putting it what they think. Why do you think that? You think that because somebody you know said that. You think that because some group you're in said that. If you just turn that shit off... And put that time into doing something good, like building your body. When you build your body, your mind will follow. It will change. You can take everything away from somebody. You can put them in a cage. They still have the ability to do some push-ups, some pull-ups. Uh, you know, raise your heart rate. It releases endorphins. It repairs things. It helps things. And then you start putting good food in your body. It fixes things. Live food. Live food with enzymes. There's a lot of things that you can do that don't cost money. There's a lot of shit you spend money on that you could divert money into other things. Like cable television. Like Netflix. Like video games. Those are time sucks. Those take things away. Go someplace where you are allowed to have those conversations that you're having. And there's other people having them. Not just sitting on the internet. That's the problem. Everybody has all these friends who they've never met. And they call each other friends because they just believe the same thing, whatever that is. But talking about it doesn't fucking grow that seed. It doesn't grow anything. It doesn't fix your body. You have to get up and actually do those things. So if you had... But John, I don't have time. Well, if you took the time that you spend on social media and television and whatever else the fuck it is you do, you would have that time. You would have the time. Even when I was in prison, I had the time. You don't have, there is no excuse. Divert something that you are doing into something you need to be doing and stop doing the stuff you don't need to be doing to make things better. If you truly believe all the stuff that you're talking about online, if you truly believe all the stuff is coming that you see online, then put yourself in a better position, put your family in a better position, and maybe it's not all about you right now. Maybe it is about the future of your family because you've seen these things happen before. You've seen them happen in history, and they don't even teach your kids about them in school anymore. Because you're about to see it all happen again. Go someplace where you are fucking safer from it. Go someplace where you can do your own shit. During all the COVID lockdown stuff, we weren't affected. We were very concerned for the first week or two, and we took steps to make things better here. Like bringing in food production. We brought in chickens when people were buying toilet paper. We put fencing up to contain more animals. We did a lot of stuff like that. We bulked up on feed. We did you know, stuff that would help us shelter in place if we needed to. I know it's different. We're in the middle of nowhere. If you found the exit on the interstate, it would take you another 45 minutes to drive here almost. We're 90 minutes to two hours from any major city. That's very different than an apartment. But you're in an apartment and you're choosing to stay there in that apartment. Switch careers, switch jobs. Better yet, start something for yourself and grow that and go someplace else where you can do what you want to do. I've got a lot of clients. We have a lot of customers who we've become friends with who have done exactly that. They were making signs in a garage and they moved and bought a piece of property from a couple years, from a few years of building those signs and buying more equipment. And now they've got a huge piece of property and a house. We have dozens of customers that have that story. Why don't you work on that story? 
Why don't you do something? What's your plan? When they come to knock on your door, you're going to just try to escape right then and, and run away? With the, well, you stored all that shit. You bought all that stuff. Do you think you're just going to be able to throw it in a truck and they're just going to let you drive out the front door to another state? You're running out of time. But while you're there and you can't leave, practice something. And that starts with you. Practice working on your body. <coughs> And the way you think will change. It will follow. Things will be different. Because they just start to get better. Because you've cleared your head. It's like when you sit stagnant. You sit there and consume all the negativity on the internet. <clears throat> it literally just corrupts you. You need to get around people that are actually doing it. And what you'll find is all these dudes on the internet that you think are doing it. A lot of them aren't. They don't. And when you finally bump into one of them in person, the guy you thought was some SF operator is in a fucking rascal scooter. But when you get out in person, you find out who people actually are. And you just go where they're at. You start going to classes, start training, start attending fucking seminars. Learn. And then bring it back and teach somebody else in your group. See, that's the thing. You don't have a group. You don't have... A mutual aid group you don't have some group that you train with or just fucking go mountain biking or hiking or whatever it is there's a lot of stuff to do but on the internet where they want you to live you're not doing any of it stand up and move I'm gonna go in here and get some cardio done get some weights done we have a sale going on. It will end uh, today if you're not sure what that sale is. Uh, if you're on Instagram, get on my Facebook, watch my live video. If you're on Facebook, you've probably already seen the live videos from the last few nights. I've showed exactly what the free bag is, what the promotion is. Um, just be better. And that doesn't mean that you're not good. It just means be better. That's all it means. It just means do something that makes you better. My fingers are numb. I'm going to go in here and uh, warm them up by running.